find this and they work very hard to do what we do to stay motivated this is the teacher's reality show this is the teacher's reality show the teacher's niger reality show Another good day on the Teachers Nigeria reality show where contestants get to battle for the crown of the smart teacher. This game is called Academic Goals. My name is Oyare. And I'm Babashe Ufasheru. Every smart teacher is expected to know how to set relevant goals for their students. And of course to teach them how to achieve those goals. Just like this. Oyare, let's give it to them. Okay. All right. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, Yay. yeah, she got it. Oh, yeah, I got that. Then one more, one more. Ooh. <laughs> well, I got it. One more. One, one more. more. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got it. <laughs> we have to leave it for the, the real owners of the game. Mm. <laughs> the teachers. All right. Let us learn from the teacher. All right, our viewers at home and wherever you're watching, just sit back and see the professionals do it their way. We'll be right back. The Teachers Niger Reality Show. Hello, housemates. Your new task is titled Academic Goals. You have two minutes to bounce in balls in each cup. Each ball represents a score. Two or more balls in one cup counts as one. If a player finishes before the game ends, he wins. Now you can start. Thank you. 
The Teachers Reality Show. The Teachers Niger Reality Show. support Nigerians with consistent quality product for comfort and well-being. With Vitafone, you don't just sleep. We give you comfort that gets you recharged. Vitafone, the fine art of living. Welcome to another interesting day on the Teachers Niger Reality Show. Today, we get to peek into the minds of the housemates in another rematch of the game Thinking Outside the Box. Every smart teacher's creativity is a stimuli for the student's motivation. It is very important for every teacher to have a little bit of creativity, no matter how little it is. That's right. Let's start from this creative teacher right here. Hello. You're a teacher, Abby. Of course I am. Are you creative? Very creative, and Are you, you know sure? that. Okay. <laughs> what's, I have what's just one on? question for you. Oh, yeah? Mm, okay. Let's do this. Are you sure? Oh, come on. You know me now. Okay. What looks ex... <laughs> Oh, okay. What looks exactly like half an apple? What looks exactly like half an apple? Yes. Half an apple. Uh -huh. Half. <laughs> half. 
Half. Half an apple. Half. Ah. While Baba Show is still trying to figure out the answer to that question, we're going to go on a break. And when we come back, the housemates are going to go into the game thinking outside Half. the box. Stay with us. Half. He's still deciding. Half an apple. Half an apple. We'll be right back. <laughs> Half an apple. This is the teacher's reality show. The Teacher's Niger Reality Show. The answer is one thirty. Answer is uh, 131. Mm -hmm. 20. Seven. Copy stand. That's 30. The answer is 130.
141. My, the answer is 30. The trophy is 10.
confianza estén. Twenty. answer is 10. So it's 27. The answer is 20.
answer is 27. The answer is 20. The answer is 50. Says twenty. Answer is 27. My answer is 15. My answer is 50. One thirty. The answer is one thirty. Is 151. This is the Teachers Reality Show. The Teachers Niger Reality Show. Oh,
proudly Nigerian and constantly support Nigerians with consistent quality product for comfort and well-being. With Vitafoam, you don't just sleep. We give you comfort that gets you recharged. Vitafoam, the fine art of living. The Teacher's Niger Reality Show. Good evening, viewers, and welcome to the feedback session of the tax thinking outside the box. Sometimes things don't seem exactly the way they appear. We need to look inwards and look deeper to discover even the tiniest details in those things that we look at. So in this session, we'll be discovering or to unravel how to solve it, if they got it right or wrong. So over to the housemates. Hello, housemates. Hello, Hello sir. sir. How was it today? Uh, <laughs> OK. Um, thinking outside the box, I hope it was great. Yes, okay, um, houseman number eight, yes, how, sir. how did it go? Well, it was good. Um, one actually has to take his or her time to get the answer. If not, you would think it is an answer while it is not. So it is actually intense in some way. Wow, paying yes, closer sir. attention. Yes, sir. Um, houseman number 13, sir, yes, how did it go? Oh. First and foremost, I was tensed up. Okay. I had to be calm at the time. So I had to employ my problem solving skills. I just hope I got it right, sir. <laughs> I that's, need... that's interesting. Yes, sir. That's interesting. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's solve the question. So what do we have here? We have three beds yes, and we have 30 here. Meaning that this is what? 10, ten and this? Ten. And this other one? Ten. 30 in all. Okay, that means the bed is what? 10. ten. Now here, what do we have? Two beds. Two beds, meaning oh, 20. 20. And here? 20. One bus. One bus. So what will add to 20 to give you 40? 20. 20. Meaning that the bus is what? 20. 20. And here we have one how many beds? Bed. One bed, which is how much? How many? 10. ten. ten. And how many buses? Two buses? We have two buses here. We have two buses, which result to how many? Uh, how much? We have 40 plus 10. Then what is this? So that means each has how many marks? Five. So plus 10, 60. Now the question is here. What is the meaning of one trophy? If we have two here, that is 10. What's this? Five. The answer is five. The answer is five. Yes, it's just five. Now take off the second question, please. The second question. All right, let's let, let look at this. We have shoes here. How many? How many do we have here? Two. Two. Two and two. That means each two is how many? 20, 20, and 20. Then we have 60. And here we have how many? 20 plus, this is 30. If you minus 20 from it, it becomes 10. That means each of these is what? Five and five. All right. So we have an eyeglass here. And we have this five. If you now minus this um, five from nine, it will have four, meaning that this is two and two, right? Okay. So we have what here? We have 20. And we have this what? Two, meaning 22. Then what is missing here? 20, meaning that the globe is 20, then we have 42. Now, the question is here. Now, this is what? Is it one or two? This is 10. Now, look at this guy here. This guy has two gloves, and each glove is what? Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's wrap it up. Hold on, hold on. This guy has two gloves. And each glove is how many? 20. That means this is 40 here. Each shoe is what? 10. This guy has how many? 20. He has 20. You didn't pay closer attention. Now, this is. So what do we have here on the legs? Eh? This is what? 20. 20. 20. Eh? And this is what? 40. 40. So already we have 60. 60. 
and we have an eyeglass. Ah. Oh. We have an eyeglass. How many? Uh, we have two. And this guy represents how many? Five. So if you calculate it very well, we have how many? We have how many? 67. Uh, now, if you look at it, this is board mass. Now, if you follow the principles of board mass, you have to do multiplication before addition. So we have 67 times 2. What does it give us? 134 plus 10. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so the essence of this game is for us to pay attention to details. You don't judge a book by its cover. Until you pay attention, then you discover. And if you look at the tags, if you didn't pay close attention or closer attention, you wouldn't discover those details. And this is exactly what happens in our classroom. Sometimes we just look at children or students and assess them without paying attention, digging deep to discover the kind of learners they are. So we have to apply this in our classroom. This task is actually designed to test our IQ and how details we pay uh, in where, where we're teaching and unraveling um, uh, puzzles in our classrooms. So by this, please, always pay attention to details. Don't just rush into anything. Don't go into a classroom and teach and just jump out like that. Pay attention to every child to discover the kind of learner that child is. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. This is the teacher's reality show. The Teacher's Niger Reality Show. I just love the Teacher's Niger Reality TV show. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it goes beyond the voting, the millions of Naira to be won. I told you before, it's all about learning. It's all about exposing your mind. Mm -hmm. It's all about making education better. Oyare, are you not impressed? I'm super impressed, Baba Shewon. Super impressed to say the least. I mean, mm. did you look at the last task? Oh my, that task was super hectic. Mm, you can it say was that hectic. Again. Did you even try to solve it? Of course I did. And then you say you got it. I got uh -huh, it. Indeed, indeed. Well, look at, look at, look at that task, right? Mm. What I got from that task is there is nothing as important as paying key attention to details. Yeah. Because when you just look at that task in, at the surface, you think mm. you, you, you know, it's easy to get. But when you try to solve it, you know that it's the details that matter. I think mm. that's what I got from that, from all that. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that is why it is important for you at any time when Teachers Niger Reality TV Show comes to your screen, get your children, your family members, your neighbors to come around to watch because it's an opportunity to learn. That's right. And make sure you engage with us on all our social media platforms. Mm. It's at Teachers Niger on Instagram and Facebook. And remember, you can also catch up on all the episodes you missed by subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's Teachers Niger Reality Show. Until we meet again, we'll say bye. Where do you think you're going to? Camera, don't cut. Don't cut. Okay. Wait, but what's your... what is <laughs> Hold on. You think I've forgotten, right? You what? think I've forgotten the question I asked you at the beginning, right? You want to run away from that? You want no, to run I, away? I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay, so, okay, okay, wait, wait. I can't. What's the answer? What's the answer? What looks exactly like half an apple? The other half. Ah, other I told him. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> Now we say bye. Yes, All you can right, cut now. Bye bye, people. Bye. <laughs> this is the teacher's reality show. The teacher's Niger reality show.